Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, if you are first timer on this particular channel, my name is Manoj Sharma and I love to train people on technical concepts. And in this entire series, we are going to talk about cryptography. So, if you are somebody who is very enthusiastic to know more and more about cryptography, to know the concept, hidden concept of cryptography, or if you are preparing for some certification exam, for example, you are preparing for CISSP or CSUM or maybe any other technical program. Uh, this is going to help you clear all your concept. So watch the video till the end. Do not miss out any uh, specific portion of the video because everything there are a lot of concept which I have explained and I am pretty sure this video is going to help you a lot in your entire journey and it will help you enhance your knowledge. With that said, do not forget to also subscribe to this video because I keep coming with a lot of such videos which will help you clarify different concepts in cyber security. With that said, let's not delay and right away let's dive into the concept. Hey everyone, in this session I welcome you to go through cryptography. It's a quick fire review on the entire cryptography. With that said, uh, we will not delay anymore. We will go to our concept number one. Concept number one. In the entire cryptography, the most important topic is what are the goals of cryptography? And you guys should be super clear about this goals of cryptography. The goals of cryptography is Number one, to provide confidentiality. And when we talk about confidentiality, it is more about encryption. So, by this way, even if your data is exposed, uh, your particular API is exposed, your particular anything is exposed, right? The attacker will not be able to make any use of that particular data because that will be useless for them. So, that is cryptography. The second important aspect of uh, goals of cryptography is integrity. When we say integrity, uh, we need a mechanism to identify if a particular message is traveling from point A to point B, uh, somebody has not done undue modification into this. Somebody has not modified the message during its travel. And the particular thing is basically achieved by hashing. But please also remember, hashing is a detective control. It is not a preventive control. Uh, it's not that if you hash a particular value, the attacker will not be able to modify the message. He will be able to modify the message. But the thing is, the end res uh, recipient will be able to detect that this particular message has been modified. That is the entire purpose of hashing, right? So that is your second important thing. Number third is called as authent uh, authenticity or you can say authentication first. So, in entire uh, asymmetric cryptography and whenever we implement asymmetric cryptography, we are able to achieve also authentication as well. For example, in asymmetric cryptography, we use Defi Hellman, which actually use that is a key establishment protocol. Uh, where password does not travel on the wire, but both the parties are able to establish that particular key, that is Defi Hellman. Also, for any kind of authentication, let's say when you go and access your bank and uh, you know establish a uh, secure uh, like TLS session, that time itself there is a four-way handshake, and this four-way handshake is also making use of asymmetric cryptography to establish authentication. So one another goal of authentication uh, you know goal of cryptography is authentication as well then what else next is authenticity right so when we say authenticity this means that authenticity of the uh, source or authenticity of the destination when we say source for example you download a particular agreement uh, you have signed with your uh, vendor and when you download it, it might be already digitally signed by the vendor. So, you know that this particular document is actually coming from your vendor and they have signed it. They, there is an indirect proof that yes, it is from the right source. 
isn't it same way when you communicate with a particular server which is remote to you for example you want to communicate with your bank you need an assurance that i am actually dealing with the right server i am not dealing with a server which is fraud right how do we get that guarantee because of digital certificates and we have that entire mechanism build up right so in that case we can also be assured of the destination uh, authenticity as well and the fifth goal which we are going to talk about is called as known repudiation so known repudiation is that somebody who is uh, you know uh, who is uh, doing an action should not be able to deny to this for example you have signed a particular agreement with the vendor digitally that particular vendor should not at a later point of time come and say no we did not sign this particular agreement right or let's say somebody has sent you a particular email digitally signed email and uh, uh, you need a mechanism to make sure that that particular guy has not is not kind of repudiating to that so that is where it will also help us for known repudiation as well so these are very important one two three four five five goals of cryptography now confidentiality we achieve through encryption integrity we achieved with hashing and in hashing we have two things which we will talk about later one is called as uh, uh, message identification code and one is called as message authentication code right that also we will understand later authentication i think you understood how we use uh, symmetric and asymmetric both in various different situations to authenticate so that is also one part of it and then we have spoken about source and destination authenticity as well i have explained that also and finally known repudiation as well which is achieved through digital signatures so these are also all and everything reflecting the applicability of cryptography in your real world as well with hey there i hope you like the entire video and this might have cleared a lot of your concept if you really like it please don't forget to subscribe to this particular channel and like and share with others as well so that knowledge can spread right and with that said this is just uh, you know this is an entire series do not miss out watching other videos also you might be getting those links and with that said i am going to see you in the next video